I glad to be here, but the problem is I'm a ventriloquist and the airline lost my luggage. So what does a ventriloquist do when their puppet does not arrive? Well, I think we need to turn the governor into a dummy. What do you think? Is, would that be good? Would you like that? Would you, would you do that for us? All right, now what we're gonna do, governor, you're gonna go right over here. Where's my wife, Angie? Angie, get out here. Yeah, it's okay if you're on camera. She did their makeup and everything, so. Okay, so you get over there and get him ready. Now, I, while they're getting ready, I'm gonna tell you what it's like to be a ventriloquist if you don't have a puppet. Now, a lot of times when I go through TSA, I will have my luggage and I'll put it right through. Now, I only do this if there's nobody behind me because you don't want people getting all angry with you. But as soon as my luggage starts to go through, I'll go, let me out of here. Selma, <laughs> let me out of here. Now, there was one time I did this, and I, I'm not kidding you. I, what happened was the lady that was actually looking, she turned ashen because she also <laughs> saw in the x-ray machine a head. <laughs> She calls everybody over and they're like, oh, what? they open it up and see it's a puppet and they realize I was a ventriloquist. But another thing I like to do, are, oh, they're almost ready, okay. So, <laughs> so another thing I like to do is if, I'm, if I have a new sound person, I'm doing something like a show like this and they say, we're gonna do a sound check and I walk out and I say, all right. And so I take the mic and I go, one, one, hello, hello. Would you turn off that echo? echo. And they're like, there's no echo. <laughs> That's, a, that's the kind of thing a ventriloquist can do without a puppet. But now, of course, the governor is ready. So Angie, can you bring him out here? There, give it up for Governor Huckabee here. Now, Governor, you look very sexy. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, what is it? I'm dressed like Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Yes. OK, well, I'm very excited to do this. Now, let me ask you, Governor, uh, do you, are you really known for doing an amazing Elvis impersonation? Yes, I am. Oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. What we're going to do is, so, oh, well, I guess I should ask you this. Are you, would you like to do your Elvis impression for everyone? I would love to. All right. <laughs> this is just going to be great. So, uh, so how, how good are you at uh, performing like Elvis? Well, I was second uh, to Austin Butler for the Elvis movie. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So you almost got the movie. I certainly did. Okay. So is, it, so is there anything else? Well, let me ask you this. What do you think about what's, uh, what's going on in Washington? I think we need a little less conversation, a little more action, please. I think so, too. I think you're absolutely right. So, uh, so do you think, I mean, do, you know, politics and everything, uh, how do you feel about it? It's got me all shook up. Uh, well, <laughs> that makes sense. I have to sleep with a teddy bear. Uh, okay, well, uh, of course, these are all Elvis songs. We love that. I need someone to love me tender. <laughs> well, I understand that. So, so now, um, so now, uh, Governor, uh, so you actually, now, now your voice doesn't sound like Elvis. Yes, it does. No, no, it doesn't. So, uh, can you give us a little thank you, thank you very much? Thank you, thank you. No, 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 not like that. We want you to do it. Can you do it like Elvis? Yes. Okay, do it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's good. That's really good. That actually sounded a lot like Elvis. Now, um, so, so, uh, Governor, I know everybody is waiting with bated breath. Are you ready to sing for us? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm so excited I can hardly stand it. Okay, well, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. So are you ready? What are we gonna do? I thought we would do the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Oh, that sounds good. Are you ready for this? Battle <laughs> Hymn. <laughs> Get the key here. What is the key here? Lord. Is that right? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I could have done that. Well, sorry, I just have to get it right. I'm. Okay, here we go, ready? Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Am I done? Not yet, not yet. We're gonna, <clears throat> we have to do the big ending. Oh, there's a big ending? Yes, there is. So here we go, ready? Is true. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Are you ready to do the, the last high note? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> and I want to say, uh, so I appreciate you doing that, Governor. And I want to say that the gentleman who actually made that mask is in the audience, Steve Axtell, one of the greatest puppet makers on the planet, right there. And Steve, I just want you to know it's an honor to work with you. We've got a big surprise that we're going to be showing sometime in 2023 that you made the puppet, 19 puppets this man made for me. Thank you so much, everybody. Love you, Governor. Love you, Governor. <laughs> oh. You are amazing. Hey, it is always fun to have Terry Fader here because I never know what he's going to do with me. <laughs> if you want to follow Terry Fader online and get tickets to his current shows, I'm telling you, it's worth the trip to Vegas just to go see him. Just go, watch him, go home, watch as many of his shows as you can. It's absolutely amazing. If you want to know how to do it, go to Huckabee.tv. We have links to help you find out how to get to Terry's show in Vegas or one of his shows anywhere in the country.